Hi there, this is Andrea Mowry of Drea Renee Knits, and today I am going to show you how I like to seam the DRK Everyday Cowl. So, before I do the demo, I will show you what this looks like once it's done. So here is another cowl that's all finished. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be just using mattress stitch to seam it up. We're gonna seam it with the wrong side facing, but our goal is that when we flip it to the right side is that we're trying to keep our lines here just as kind of continuous as we can with this nice exposed seam in the back. That This is actually our slip stitch edges we worked, but they, look very similar to our eye cord once seamed. So I really like how that looks at the back of my neck with this DRK Everyday Cowl. All right, so let's get to seaming. So you should have left a tail when you finished your cowl that is three to four times the length of what we're gonna seam. If you didn't leave a tail, that's okay. Just grab some yarn to do your seaming. I recommend it matching. It doesn't really matter though because the yarn that we've seamed with is gonna be kind of tucked in underneath that exposed seam, but you know, it just looks nice, I think, if it matches. <laughs> All right, so the right side of my cowl is right here. So I am folding it so that I am looking at the wrong side of my cowl. And what we want to do is we're, again, just trying to maintain. You can see this is the divots of those pretty slip stitches that are on the right side. So we're just going to maintain lining those up as best we can. If it helps, you can always throw in some locking stitch markers. I like to use plastic ones. And you could just... pop those every few inches to kind of keep yourself lined up and that way you can kind of look ahead and if your seam is starting to maybe do this or that you know that you need to grab more from this side or more from that side to try and keep it as even as you can. The exposed seam of this cowl helps hide if it's not perfectly lined up so don't stress about it. Think of it as an optical illusion. We're just trying to give it the illusion of that continuity, but it won't make or break your cowl if it's not perfect. And probably not that many people will be looking at the back of your neck, so don't worry too much. So I'm actually placing these along those lines. And I'm going to do one more at the top. You don't have to do this. I seamed my other one without doing this. But it is nice, especially if you're nervous or when you're doing a longer seam. This is just a great tip for seaming in general. I like to have things kind of in one to two inch increments within there where I can check and say, okay, everything's still lining up how I like it. Good. Let's keep going. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to throw my yarn onto my tapestry needle. For this version, I actually did a fade using two strands of sock yarn and one strand of mohair. I just have that all attached and that's what I'm gonna use to seam with. Technically, I could just use one of these strands, um, but uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. I might actually take out the mohair though because I think it'll be a little easier to seam without that sticky mohair. So here we go. We are going to start right at the bottom here by just bringing these two ends together. I'm going to zoom in now so that you can see everything a little closer up. So I am going in through the edge of this I cord that goes along the bottom of the cowl. to bring these two edges together. And now let's start doing the mattress stitch. So I'm going to go under, this is still in my eye cord here, but I just wanna bring that together as neatly as I can. So I just went under those couple legs and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. There we 
There we go. All right, and now we are just gonna work our way up. So I'm gonna go over to this side and you can kind of see because of the slip stitch, there's really nice little spots to go ahead and insert your needle. So that's what I'm gonna be using to kind of follow along here is I'm gonna go under on that side and then I'm gonna bring it over and this side looks a little bit different because on one side we were increasing and on the other side we were decreasing. So I just wanna make sure I get both legs of the slip stitch. I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna go under the other side. Back over to this side. Back over. And then as I'm getting close, I can kind of see, okay, I want this to line up a little bit more like that. So I'm just tugging that side up a little. And so I actually am going to go under one more over here, and that is going to help my two sides line up a bit better. So the nice thing with knitting is we're working with a really flexible fabric, so you can kind of zhuzh it one way or the other to get it how you want it. I'm going to go ahead and remove that first marker, and I'm going to give a little tug. Do you see how that just zips itself up? And we're just going to see how everything's looking. I think that's looking pretty good. You can kind of loosen it up to keep going. So here is my where my seaming yarn last went in. I'm going to go above that. And do you see how this is right at that line? And now I'm going back over to this side right at that line. There we go. And now I just keep working my way up one side after the other occasionally checking to make sure I like how it's lining up I'm not getting too far ahead of myself anywhere I can go ahead and give it another zip and then you can even peek on the other side and see I think that looks pretty good so there we go. That is how we are going to seam up the entire back of this cowl, continuing to just use mattress stitch the whole way. And then once you turn it right side out, it's going to look similar to this. Here's how it looks folded. And there we go. I hope you found this helpful and happy seaming.